So today's impeachment hearing started off with a bombshell with Gordon Sondland, but before we talk about today, we've got to look back at what happened yesterday. And what happened yesterday is that Republicans in the House of Representatives fell flat on their face with their star witness, Kurt Volker. Now they had assumed that calling Mr. Volker, who by the way, the Republicans are the ones who called him, they thought he was going to be their star witness. He was their slam dunk. He was their playmaker. He was the one who was going to put all this to rest and show that it was nothing more than a big old witch hunt. And the reason they believe that is because during the closed door depositions that they had before the public hearings, Volker did say, Hey, there was no quid pro quo. There was nothing like that. Nobody was talking about the Bidens. Everybody was just doing their business like they were supposed to. This whole thing is rather silly. And Republicans thought that Mr. Volker was going to come into Congress yesterday and basically say the same thing. But unfortunately for them, he didn't. Volker changed his testimony because suddenly after hearing everybody else testify that there was in fact a quid pro quo, Mr. Volker decided to say that, Hey, guess what? I was wrong. And here's how Volker basically explained it. Now, he doesn't want to say that he lied during his deposition. So instead he's saying, I guess I misunderstood. I guess I misread the room when I was working as the envoy to Ukraine. See, I thought Volker said everything was just kind of cool and hunky dory. And we were withholding some aid and I never really asked why didn't really think I needed to. That wasn't my responsibility. It wasn't my concern. We're withholding aid. Sure. Fine. Whatever. I know John Bolton didn't agree with it, he said, but I know other people did. And I never bothered to find out why. Fair enough. But then Volker continued, and now I know why. Now I know why this was going on. And it is because of the quid pro quo, the extortion. They were withholding aid, Mr. Volker says because they wanted Ukrainian president Zelensky to go on television and announce that they were going to investigate Joe and Hunter Biden. That was the quid pro quo. That is what Mr. Volcker, the Republicans own witness said on Tuesday. Volcker was not the only one though, who explicitly said that, yeah, there was a quid pro quo. You also had Tim Morrison, the former National Security Council Russia director, who had this to say. Um, what did Ambassador Sondland say to tell you that he told Mr. Yermak? That the Ukrainians would uh, have to have the prosecutor general um, uh, make a statement uh, with respect to the investigations as a condition of having the aid lifted. So to sum things up, yeah. Yesterday was a very bad day for Republicans. However, that didn't stop Donald Trump yesterday afternoon when he decided to tweet out that it was a great day for Republicans, which leads me to believe that maybe he didn't watch the whole thing. Maybe he didn't read any analysis because by any stretch of the imagination, yesterday was an awful day for the Republicans and for the president of the United States. And given Gordon Sondland's opening statement this morning, I'm willing to bet that today is going to be even worse for him. One of today's video sponsors is impeach the slap card game. And now that Donald Trump is officially going through impeachment, it could not be a better time to purchase this fun and educational game for your family. Not to mention the fact that we are officially in the holiday shopping season. So if there's someone on your holiday shopping list that maybe they're not a fan of Donald Trump, or even if they are a fan of Donald Trump, this game has something for everybody. And here's what they have to offer. In addition to being a fun game, you can play with your family and friends. Each card comes complete with either a quote from Donald Trump or a fact or figure about his administration. So yes, even the Trump fans out there can finally get a clear look at what exactly is happening under this administration. 
And as I mentioned, Trump is officially under impeachment. The investigations are ongoing right now, so it couldn't possibly be a better time to enjoy the fun of impeachment with your friends and family. So follow the links below at the top of the description of this video. Use code ring of fire at checkout and get 10% off your purchase of impeach the slap card game.